I don't know. I watched Tarbashadi and I didn't really care for that even guy, so. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, Masked Bandit here, along with N7. Yeah, this is me. And we have Eben with us today as well. Hi there. And Eben is the new Big Spoon, and you are there watching... There we go. Yeah, and you yeah. are watching Season Zoo, episode... <laughs> six? Uh, we should have six? checked this. <laughs> Five? Yeah, 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 six. It's been a while. Episode whatever, episode after the Lion Five. House... Ah, episode f- only five? No, six, 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 okay, six, 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 six. Okay, so we're on like a once every two month schedule at this point. Yeah, <laughs> uh, more than that. I think season two's been on a long. Hiatus. Yeah, but we got, but see, we got several episodes done in the first like Whoa. month, a couple yeah. months, and uh, so okay. we can just, you know, if the game's been out a year and we have six episodes, that's once <laughs> every two months. So yeah, okay. you know. Fair yeah. enough. Whatever. But anyway, yeah, Eben is here. We've invited him in because, you know, he's not busy enough doing all of other, Mike's no. other projects. And uh, <laughs> and uh, he's going to kind of uh, come in and show us how it's done. One of the things that really kind of grinds things to a halt for us is we don't know zoos like we know theme parks. Right. Yeah. And so we need someone who knows zoos. And apparently Eben claims to know zoos. <laughs> he does claim to know that. But does he actually? That's the That's question. Strange. Does he know things? <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> to be yes, fair. But does he yeah. know? Let's find out. <laughs> Let's find out. All right. Should we just, I guess, go right in? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, we've got a um, small infographic over here. Because Whoa. you guys said it earlier, you don't really know Zeus. Um, and this is basically a um, small infographic about the uh, five generations of zoo design. Mm-hmm. Um, each generation has uh, some specific style, some specific elements that really define it. And it I makes it, it a lot easier for you guys to just go through through this infographic. Like, okay, I want to build something that was built in the 1930s. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's the third generation. And these are the kind of key elements yeah, because Lincoln Park Zoo uh, is this entire. It's, well, no, it's, it's not this entire um, scale, but I think it's from one to five. Yeah, yeah. yeah and exactly. at what time? Possibly at what one to point, six. Like, it's probably not realistic to see anything in a zoo these days from like this first phase anymore. Any zoo that's right. still operational, if it's there, it's like in the lion house. Look at how awful we used to treat these animals. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, this is really yeah. interesting. But one of the things we mentioned when we did this the first time is that uh, it seems to go in 30-year increments, which would mean that we are now mm-hmm. phasing out of what's current. Is that something that's kind of an accepted yeah. truth? Like we're leaning towards whatever's next? Uh, yeah, so all this comes from a few books that I've been reading. Um, and in some of the books, they actually mentioned that we're currently going towards Generation 6, in which mm-hmm. we... Yeah, the story-driven element becomes more and more important, and we're going more and more into the whole, um, yeah, theme park vibe and feel um, in a zoo because budgets are getting big- bigger, and mm-hmm. people expect more and more and more from zoos. You can't have exhibits from Generation Three even because those are too, those are not naturalistic. They don't look that good. So right. yeah. People have high expectations, so we have to meet them at this point. Well, it, would, it wouldn't be an episode with me in it without mentioning it, but like Pairi Daiza is a perfect example of... Pairi Daiza. Wow, wow. Of a zoo that's in Generation 5 and is basically <laughs> Generation 6 at this point. Yeah, Pairi Daiza is definitely go, Generation 6. They go up and beyond anything that's in generation five at this point let's see how you destroyed my lion house yeah. <laughs> let's see if you're gonna be as salty as you were last time i was not salty he at was all not you salty liar all. i was so mm-hmm. kind about it yeah. so footage not found so anyway let's actually yeah. look at the stuff eben is here to do yeah exactly and immediately this is, he has this is like, my episode not my <laughs> <laughs> he has absolutely jankified um everything i 
I love yeah. it. There's walls where there there's wasn't walls. walls and... There's walls where you could actually look at animals. Can you even <laughs> see the animals in this exhibit anymore? I mean, nah. <laughs> nah, they, they trust just us, know they're the there. animals are here. But... <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so, so tell us what your motivation was here, just aside from my sadness. <laughs> well, <laughs> basically, what what the exhibit itself looked pretty good, and the building itself <laughs> is was amazing. I've said that like. I just want a to million hear you times say it again. already. So you I'm going to say it again. You need to keep saying it. it. Is yes. a, it it's one of the most beautiful buildings I've ever That's seen, so John. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. It's, it's, oh my God, so Ooh. great. I mean, <laughs> it uh, is, oh my God, so great. Yeah, it, it <laughs> is. But when I saw the exhibits <laughs> around it, and I was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> there needs to be some work done here. It needs to be spiced oh up. <laughs> He was uh, proud of the lion side, especially. I was just, very proud of the lion side. I thought the cheetah side could have used some work. He, you oh, just yeah. destroyed him with so few words. Yeah. With, with one word, actually. But it's okay. Butt. You know why? Because I've heard all these words before, so I'm emotionally prepared this time. <laughs> He's less salty now than he was last <laughs> yeah, time. I'm now just resigned. <laughs> he, was, he was so salty that at a certain point Because you know what? Time, For a little while, even... I was the big spoon. <laughs> I know. For a very short period of time. I, I, actually, four episodes, he was the big spoon. I was, was like, I was about story. to send Mike a message. I mean, actually, I sent Mike a message. Like, is, are you guys still sure that you want me in this project? Because he's being really <laughs> salty. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> yeah, I was, I was getting nervous. <laughs> I will say exactly what I said to you, though. It is always a hard pill to swallow when yeah. someone changes what you've made for the better. Because you're like, well, damn, I wish I could have done it that good. And at the same point, part of what makes Bro Coaster Bro Coaster is we are willing to swallow those pills at, for a mm -hmm. better end product. And so you just got to let me grieve the loss of my babies, and then I'll be <laughs> fine. <laughs> Yeah, as long as you don't touch the lemur house, I think the as long as that doesn't get oh. any sort of oh okay, identification. I'll 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 keep that in mind. I'll I'll yeah. revert. You already messed with it, didn't you? <laughs> All right. You um, so did you are touch? I'm gonna you go. Okay, I'm gonna go see. What did you do my lemur house? You keep talking. <laughs> I haven't done anything. I'm just okay. <laughs> just okay. messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> See guys, I All right. fit right in. <laughs> so first thing, <laughs> first thing I notice over here is you have um, ripped out this viewing area. Yes. Uh, yeah, exactly. So um, I'm I'm standing in, in front of the uh, archway right now, mm -hmm. and one of the first things that I did this is um, a Generation Five um, revamp, as we talked mm -hmm. about earlier. You said it in your videos as well. This is an area that went through several renovations. Mm -hmm. So in the lore, this would have had a. Um, a, another renovation in the fifth generation and mm -hmm. that's a lot more story driven so i decided to incorporate that here and one yeah, of the this things is supposed to follow the cobbler house at uh yeah yeah because exactly. they are currently yeah, under renovation because they have the giant moats right now mm -hmm. oh cool and yeah half of the uh how half of so one side was tigers and lions and they've removed mm. the tigers, and now oh, yeah, lions yeah. are going to get the entire side. Yeah, that's that's also, that's also a very big thing lately. In many zoos, they are reducing their animal collections mm -hmm. um, and just giving the animals much more space. Mm -hmm. um, well, they're they're adding a lot more fish and birds. Yeah, oh. you know, things. Fish that and birds. Do those even go hey, in hey, zoos? Hey, 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 hey. We weren't going to be salty this episode. We could be salty. Uh, I never signed a contract that said I wouldn't be salty over okay, fish great, and birds. Because I wasn't going to keep in myself. So. <laughs> fish and birds and fish and birds. It's and such a major birds. part. Isn't like fish, birds, insects, all those things, the majority of it's the like collection? It's like 75% zoos of at least Lincoln Park Zoo. I know. I know. Oh, well, most I'm, zoos. Like we have a bunch of breeding programs at the Houston Zoo regarding birds. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just yeah, saying. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so Alrighty one hope. of the things that Look I did at all here these is beams. change your viewing areas um, because, yes. and that was something that I talked about in the previous recording as well. What most mm -hmm. people do is they grab a husbandry manual, they'll take some guidelines, and they'll make sure that the exhibit is exactly according to those guidelines, and then they'll just do the viewing areas. But oh, viewing wow. areas have their own kind of science behind them. It's kind of like 
it's kind of like making a coaster perfect and not doing anything just just randomly doing the surroundings about it not thinking about where you would put your entrance queue not thinking oh, yeah. about where you would put your benches the whole and experience stuff like that. yeah well as much as zoos are about animals it's also about humans and the behavior yeah, exactly. uh, that humans exude so um one of the first things that i did was i did hide the first viewing area and I, um, I love how it's just hidden. You didn't remove it or replace it. You just, oh, let's put these walls up here. Yeah. I love um, it. I love how overgrown it is, too. Like, the weeds have just... <laughs> I've just completely taken over by now. Yeah, I so um, what I did, I put a lion statue right in front of us. So uh-huh. that grabs the attention and is the main focus as we walk into the lion area. A story about a about ghost. A ghost. Oh. So oh, once we oh, get here, oh, once we sorry. get to the focal point, <laughs> oh, we know look to our right attention. and we see the first oh. viewing area. Hey, you fixed the viewing area. Gosh. That is definitely an improvement. <laughs> I knew, you, I knew you were going to let well, it slide. Because you could go right up to <laughs> it last time, Of course I'm not going right? to let it slide. <laughs> you could go right up to it last time, right? Yeah, yeah, last time, right last time I page. basically forgot that I needed You could have had your fingers friends. nibbled. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I know so much about zoos, and then I just forget like, the most basic <laughs> thing. See, that's the problem with being an expert, is because everybody is going to see tiny little things, and then that is all you're ever going to get in your comments. Yeah, exactly. so That's why you yep, just you never be good at anything, then. and then nobody has to worry. There you go. Just yeah. saying. So, just be um, mediocre spoons. at everything. That's me. I, <laughs> So one John, of the little things... spoon high five, huh? Yeah. There you go. Woo. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> little spoon cutting I'll, off big spoon. Hey. I'll I'll I'll, I'll just ignore that. <laughs> this is gorgeous. All right. Oh, okay. Thank you. So, oh, this is um, great. One of the things that's now very um, <gasps> done quite often is um, oh, they play with the tail. Hey, yeah. remember, remember, the lions Gosh. in your zoo might not be doing the same thing in the lions yeah. in our zoos. <laughs> I, I know, but it's really cool. Oh, and he's taking a crap. No, they're probably doing the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so um, one of the things that, that it's done a lot li- lately is um, exhibit immersion. And that's done mm-hmm. by blending um, the outside of the in- exhibit with the inside of the exhibit. So they that's use the cool. same rocks, the same um, plants, so that you kind of feel as if you're in the exhibit. And that's very... Um, that's very useful in these kind of situations where you can't really rip out everything that was built earlier. I mean, there isn't any mm-hmm. space to right. like build moats and stuff like that over here. So we still have the big fence, so we need to hide it in a way. So the best way to do it is just by blending it in so mm-hmm. that the big fence doesn't feel like so out of place as it does. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It really, really is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, no, I really enjoy it as well. So, um, <laughs> I thought you were going to go, hmm, yeah, no, hmm, I've seen hmm, better. Good, good <laughs> night. I mean, I thought I had done that too, but whatever. I mean, yeah, <laughs> so, um, going to the next viewing area, it's an, there's another uh, info sign with Nzuka, the white lion. And, oh, God, yes! Yeah, there's she a white actually, lion. How long did it take to get it? exits the house in my game right now. Oh, yeah, perfect. she's actually in the house in my game too. She's oh, uh, uh, invisible perfect. in mine. She's the invisible ty- uh, lion in mine. <laughs> but yeah, how'd you breed an invisible lion, bro? <laughs> so once you got this white lion, it's another like boost in budget because mm-hmm. so many people want to see a white lion. Um, sure, of course. Well, she so, would be the star of like yeah. a few seasons or something like that. Exactly. So that's why I also kind of upped the budget in this place. Okay. Because before the it was super janky, but it was like <laughs> yeah no I, that was intentionally like it was like it, the, the parts that some parts were really nice, but then the rest was like eh, just throw some trees down because yeah okay. and and this area is these are your lions okay these are not the animals where you go super janky on this True. is <laughs> these are this like, is definitely a glass uh, fence animal not a not a cage animal. yeah well right, I'm basically right. inside the cave right now where there is yeah. glass. Mm-hmm. And this is um, this is basically still the same viewing area as you did, mm-hmm. John. I slightly mm-hmm. updated it, but not that much. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the slide, the doors, the guillotine doors. That's what they're called, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I added yeah. those in because yeah. 
And you know what sense. I really, really, and I missed this on the first go, how this little raised area here are like these little mm -hmm. hidey holes through the rocks. I really oh, like yeah. that. That's super yeah, cool. Yeah. That's and it also helps. Would absolutely love that. Oh, yeah. And it really helps block some of the building. Like, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's something that I'm going to mention in the next viewing area. So, um, oh, hold on. You did put fencing on the tree. Oh, yeah. In the yeah, habitat. Yeah, yeah. So I oh, did see, that I, I in... did check. There's, at the Houston Zoo, there is no, no protection on the trees. Well, there, there's only one tree that has this protection because the tree is basically up against the wall. So you need oh. to prevent animals from climbing up there. Okay, okay. Um, but like the other parts of the exhibit. Oh, this one. Okay, cool. It's actually... Um, it's actually fine. I haven't seen oh, okay. any zoo where they're not, where there's like protection around the trees with the lions. Right. Mm -hmm. I've seen it with other animals, but they lions do scratch it though. Like I noticed, they do scratch it. Yeah. Uh, this whatever. this what white I, lion is so cool, by the way. What I do like walking around here, I'm actually getting kind of free reign to do this. You also have this really cool, like you have these speakers going and stuff like that. Yeah. It's little details that I kind of forget. that are so important in a zoo type setting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. I tried Which is to weird because I like I did so much sound design in No Name Landia, and I just I don't quite have that same sort of control in Zoo. I just don't know what you would find in there typically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to go to the final viewing area um, mm -hmm. of this exhibit. Can I say <laughs> the river <laughs> here? I oh, really perfect. like. Uh, so you can see. In my game, you can see a small uh, lion cub over here. <laughs> and I kind of felt bad uh, for John because I changed so much. Don't feel bad for him. Um, so I gave him a <laughs> Shut little, up. Feel a bad gift. for me, damn it. <laughs> I'm going to look at the sign right now. Uh, Carry on my wayward son. Um, so <laughs> yeah, I... Yeah. That is <laughs> the such male. a that is a deep deep dive. Like <laughs> that's an incredibly <laughs> deep dive. I think so, most uh, people that are watching this will not get the reference. <laughs> no, most likely not. I'm going oh. to refer to John had a coaster that was called Wayward Son. Actually, and, I never uh, built that coaster. I just suggested yeah, name it Wayward Son. <laughs> Mike had a coaster that, that no, John Kinderly named built Wayward a coaster. Son. And I don't know why Mike decided not to approve that name, but um, <laughs> because it's the best name ever. Like Wayward seriously, Son Mike, for the coaster. I don't even know how we landed on that as a joke. I don't remember. I can't remember either, but it's honestly. Too funny. Too funny. Yeah, so I so do appreciate. I, I decided to name the male lion Wayward, and now oh, that's so this. funny. So what I did here with your viewing area is I tilted the roof a bit. Mm -hmm. So that basically you can't see the building uh, in this viewing area unless you're really like with your nose up against on, the glass. Yeah, up on the glass, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because that is something that they would have done in Generation um, 4, basically. They, mm -hmm. they start hiding the buildings and they want to make it like super nature focused. Mm -hmm. So this is a technique that they, that they use in Zeus called Horizon Dividing, where you can basically tilt roofs so you can hide buildings. It's also often used in uh, aviaries, so you don't mm -hmm. see the netted roof above you. Oh, um, clever. So it, it, it's all part of the immersion again. It's trying to to make it feel for guests as if they are in, in the wild and not in a zoo somewhere. Right, right, right. And I think that works for a lot of buildings. But I would, you know, I would like to still see some of these old because they're they're monuments in their own right. Yeah, they're yeah. historic yeah. buildings. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I didn't I didn't hide these buildings like when you walk right in front of them. You're still. <laughs> I hope not. That yeah, that would yeah. have been that would have been a waste if I would have done that. But like at the <laughs> sites of the exhibits, it, it was it was doable. So I decided to do it. <laughs> But yeah, that wouldn't just be a waste. That would be just a final insult. Yeah, it would be <laughs> just like covers it with plants. Like yeah, hey, no, this John, looks better. I, I've been saying that this is one of the most beautiful buildings ever. I lied. I mean, <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> I um, really so, do like though this lion path. Now I had it way. I did not have it as close to the river as you did, because you yeah, extended mm -hmm. everything. I, I really enjoy that. Like. It's the river yeah, now. yeah, yeah. The really the like exhibit that. size was a bit on the small size mm -hmm. the side, so I actually I actually made it a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's something that I can actually commend you on too. Um, it does feel 
more in scale with the building that it occupies. Yeah, exactly. Um, it looks really nice. And it nice. kind of needed to be bigger as well, according mm -hmm. to the guidelines. So. Before All right. we leave this area, I want to commend you on the use of like these um, iron pieces and the way that oh, it yeah. just kind of blends in with the grass. It's just it's incredibly well done. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It just makes you feel like you're in, even though it's like it's it's easy parts. It's almost like scream punk. Um, yeah, <laughs> you know what that what that <laughs> reference is. Yeah, <laughs> but it's nice. I mean, it's it's all you know, it just it it makes the the grasses seem more like you're in in the brush. Yeah, um, and it's and it's not that expensive at the end of the yeah. day. So it right. would have been very easy for them to actually do this. Yep. Really. Oh, I love Edward's it. son is so adorable. Do you yeah, want so to go we're... walk back through the lions, or just come around the back end here? I'm going to walk through the lions again. I actually oh, okay. already did that while oh, Mike was well, talking. All right. Because, well, damn. Because Mike does that all the time. He talks so much. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like Big Spoon. <laughs> Big Spoon is Big Spoon is he knows who he is. Big Spoon is getting uh, getting a pair. <laughs> <laughs> so um, here we have the same kind of um, information stands um, uh -huh. because we want to continue the theme of course and here i decided to replace one of the cheetahs with a uh, a female cheetah so we okay. have like two sisters uh, who live together yeah i like that i think the ones so, at the houston zoo are brothers oh well maybe i don't know i don't know it's fine this is in houston no <laughs> it's fine well, whatever uh, it's fine <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, oh, yeah. I, get off I'm my the case. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the first viewing area right now, and I actually basically did the same as we did with the lion house. <laughs> I tilted the uh, the roofs of the viewing area well, so sure. it's easier to hide the building. Yep. And I actually so, succeeded with that in that more than I did with the lion side, I guess. I think it's mm -hmm. the way the uh, where what it's angled, like the way yep. the viewing area is angled towards the building you don't yeah. get that big face of yeah brick cool. yeah well, so and the, it certainly helps that the rocks are um facing out too yeah yeah that's one of the things that i did um, i'm going to show it later on um i tilted the rocks a lot at the top but it's mm -hmm. not that's that's not that noticeable if you're standing right in front of it it's all no. perspective basically but once you get inside the exhibit it's really tilted quite a lot huh yeah that's just to keep so, them from climbing out, I assume. Yeah, exactly. Um, so one of the things that I did add in your cheetah exhibit is like um, a small overlook. I made mm -hmm. it very janky using wood um, mm -hmm. because that's one of the recommendations in the um, guidelines that was missing in your exhibit. So mm -hmm. I decided to add it in because cheetahs cool. need like an outlook to look over their entire exhibit. They do it in a mm -hmm. while, so they kind of want to emulate that in real life you know and i like that the budget has still clearly run out on the cheetahs <laughs> yeah i i toned it down a lot because the lions are the big animals still cheetahs are big cats big cats mm -hmm. are quite popular with with kids um hey, so yeah, you yeah. would spend a lot of money here but it's it's clear in real that life not a, yeah yeah in, in it's real clear life that the budget this is, is not that big here yeah in real life, this was, side oh, is good. much smaller, and it's a bunch of smaller exhibits for like ocelots, and I think there's like leopards and real. Mm. The smaller cats are all over yeah. here on this side, but that doesn't exist in our game. So no. So um, <laughs> so I'm the, going the to really the really nice like the second viewing area is is pretty amazing. Yeah, I, I currently have like a, a piece of meat on the uh, enrichment item. But mm -hmm. my cheetahs oh. are just sleeping over there, so... Oh, this is really nice. <laughs> They're not doing anything. Yeah, so I Swift did think the about wind. the fact that this um, this viewing area slowed down quite a bit. So yeah. I, uh, I reused the the drains that you built, John. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah. yeah, that's a nice... That detail immediately made, immediately made me do a, ooh. Like, those are the little things. You just notice them and you do like, oh, yeah, that looks right. Yeah, so... That's um, really... Oh, what's really nice too is that because it slopes down, you almost feel like you're walking right into the cheetahs. Mm -hmm. Yes, that, that's one of the things that I wanted to do as well because that's another part of um, of have that immersion is basically bring making it feel as if you as a guest walk mm -hmm. inside the exhibit. Um, there's a bunch of methods to do this. You can also like curve the exhibit outwards 
so that you can, mm -hmm. so that the animal mm -hmm. comes to you. But this is the other way around. Mm -hmm. That's um, cool. Yeah. So what's on the tree over here? Just a protection? Yeah. So for cheetahs, they did rec recommend to use uh, some form of protection around the trees because they do try to climb them. Oh. So you do need to, um, okay, you need okay. to add some protection. Cool. Um, well, as for On lions, your... there basically wasn't any recommendation about that. Mm -hmm. On your topic of um, barrier uh, kind of immersion, um, there's somebody who does this really, really well, and it's Rubel. Um, his yeah. Tivoli uh, yeah. Zoo is incredible Absolutely. with that. He He's able to do, like, the... The, the barrier in which you stand at the same level as the animals, but it's completely, like, safe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he has That's that one of the things that mode. was, like, introduced in Generation 2. Um, 2? And that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, the, the whole thing about no bar no visible barriers was something that was done in Generation 2. It, it's very weird that they stopped doing that in, like, Generation 3. That is um, weird. But it was, it was, yeah, it was, um, I, I kind of wish that I lived back then to, like, be <laughs> the first, like, go to the first zoo that didn't have, like, fences everywhere. Yeah. That would have been, that must have been amazing to, to see that for the first time. Yeah, and you probably would have died of polio or rickets or something. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus. You, the landscaping, if I can just say, the landscaping is so good. The combination of plants is really nice. The rocks are placed in a way that makes it feel like they've been, you know, sitting there for ages. Really, 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 really well done. Yeah. Yep, I'm, yep, yep. I'm, I'm so the not of used trees. I'm so not used amazing. to the fact that you're giving me compliments, Mike. I mean, who the hell are you? <laughs> I'm the victim. I'm the victim of everything that I do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because you're, because you're a major bully. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where you get that from. <laughs> no, 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 he's, hey, no, even, no, he's hey, not. Even, he's, hey, he's, not, he's not a take bully. A, take a look at the fountain. Please don't hurt me. Oh, Mike. yeah, the fountain. Oh, you fixed the fountain. I did oh. fix the fountain. I didn't oh, like could. that you said. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Uh, yeah, it's still floating, so the water is basically. Shut up! It's basically <laughs> Just look at it from above. It's very nice. I'm, I'm in touch it, Cam. I can't look at it from above. I'm looking at it like a guest, and I basically see a floating fountain with like water running underneath it. I mean, basically. <laughs> Y'all suck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't, mm -hmm. can't you just I'm fine. finish You're this fine. stuff? We're fine. Oh, that's a beautiful tower that we're not going to watch right now. So what's going on with this brick wall over here, bruh? Sorry, what oh. now? Yeah, there's, so uh, there's in an the area cheetah exhibit that wall. we were just looking at, and then somehow weren't. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's so, right. So um, this is now. this is an. Uh, I'm going to go out of Tajid Cam right now. Um, <laughs> this is a secondary habitat where you can, um, if one of the animals is sick, you can basically, um, yeah, separate it. It's the same for the lion exhibit. They, it's set up in a way that you can basically split the exhibit in two. Mm -hmm. um, because that's yeah. one of the things you really need with big cats. More th so than you have with other um, animals. You really need to be able to separate them. Mm -hmm. And I decided to keep the brick wall here as if it was just like... This is part of the very old exhibit. And because it's just a, a separate exhibit, they never really cared about like making it match with the surroundings it would be mm -hmm. solid though it wouldn't be a yeah. visible exhibit yeah exactly right. so yeah okay. these cats these cats are worth millions to the, to zoos like this because they're, yeah. they're your big attractions and oh, sure. they're the ones that are going to get you those donations sure 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 yeah so they have to they Yoss. have to be healthy Yoss. so i'm basically in the lion exhibit right now um just to show off a bit more of the <laughs> Look at all the work and I did. The exhibit. And I want to show um, the curviness of the walls. Yeah, you can really once, see it. Yeah, once you get up close, you can really see how much it curves. Yeah, it's pretty dynamite, dude. Oh, I do like that you kept uh, John's heat rock and everything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, I actually didn't change as much as you think. It's just mm -hmm. the changes are just... It's It's... I mentioned this last time, but if I was going to build like a coaster station with a transfer track, I could look at a bunch of references, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm a skilled builder. I can I could pull it off. But if you guys would 
look at it, you you would just say, yeah, that doesn't work and that doesn't work. And by <laughs> the end of it, it would have well, changed. We Although, yeah, no, no, because it's so much easier to find how all that stuff works than it is to yeah. find how a zoo <laughs> works. Yeah, there's not, like, entire... Well, I guess there might be entire communities dedicated to zoos, but there's not, like... Or, like, the backstage part of zoos right. that no one wants to show off yeah. because it is animals behind bars. Like, right, yeah. right, right. And that's there's not that the fancy stigma. part of a zoo, so people... Zoos usually don't want you to see that for a right. reason. Right, yeah. and and so like it's really hard to find that stuff for people like us who want to do it and do it well. Exactly. So that's yeah, that's that's where you come in. <laughs> <laughs> and I've I've said it last time, and I'll say it again. Thank you guys so much. It's it's still, it's still so unreal for me that I'm now part of, Brocoaster. It's it's <laughs> yeah. Like and, it's and a legit thing. I love fit it. Fit right in, so I don't know why. I mean, <laughs> yeah, and I, I must say that like I really look up to you guys. Um I mean especially you, John. I've been working with the top <laughs> mess over here for like months now. I I, I, I respect you so much more <laughs> since yeah, I started I collaborating with Mike. Yeah, who's I, the real I, hero here? Yeah. I really Oh, you'll it. pay for that in Thar. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Can I just say and if, and once you actually do something in Thar, Mike. Shut up. You had it, you Shut had your damn it. face mouth. Well then, uh, I guess that's going to do it for episode six of season two. Yeah. And uh, woo. again, woo! Thanks so much. And it's nice to be back. And I do want to do more zoo. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see so, how long well, that feeling lasts. But um. <laughs> I guess I guess I don't know who's going to take the file next. You'll probably see it when it's there in like two months or so. Mm-hmm. But yeah, <laughs> it's probably going to be me. And I will need help, uh, even. And that, I, you don't there need to is, do things, there you just is, need to kind of direct me. I wouldn't, I wouldn't yeah. have it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Also, I need that mod that turns Aspen screen again. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I really need to fix... Yeah, yeah, Mike has done, like, something. I'm going to look at it, like, from way above. Yeah, look at it and, from way and above. He... I'm I'm happy with most of it, but... He, I, gave, he gave it... He, some effort was done. Oh, <laughs> and on that note (laughs) and on that note guys see you next time (laughs) see you guys bye 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 -bye. god you just you just know how to he's man thank (sighs) you i'm glad you're here someone else that can just turn the screws that's great fan he's really good at turning the screws